Okay, so Halo Infinite is lacking literally everything that the game needs. I don't think that even Forge is going to save Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is an absolute dog water game of a franchise that's been milked over and over and over again. It really pains me to say this. Because I'm actually quite a big Halo fan. Anybody that knows me knows that I played Halo Infinite all the time. And I just kept on, you know, hoping that they would get, that we would get at least something. But nope. 343 just decides to add inflation to the prices in Halo Infinite. So most of the time it was like 1200 for the armor sets and then 300 for armor effects and kill effects. And now it's up to 1700 credits for the armor sets and 700 credits for the kill and armor effects. How does this make sense? It's literally digital items that you're paying for. If you pay for this, you are an idiot. You are an absolute smooth brain. You probably still live in your mom's basement and use your mom's credit card to buy all of that. Give the credit card back to her. But in all seriousness, though, Halo Infinite is a trash game, and it's going to be trash until Season 3, and who knows what that's going to turn out to be. But the point is, Halo Infinite is lacking so much content. I don't think even the real Halo fans know how much content Halo Infinite is lacking. Because that's lacking everything. Custom games is still broken. Even the store, the UI, that's completely broken. And not to mention the god-awful gameplay. The gameplay makes me want to jump off the launch site cliff. That's how bad it has come to. That is how bad that Halo fans have accepted Halo to be. That is how bad that this has gotten. And if you like this game, you are the absolute dumbest person in the world. You are probably dumber than my pet rock named Joseph. So yeah... That's all I got to say about Halo Infinite. When Season 3 comes out, I don't think it's going to change much. It's just going to die within the span of a few months.